Hello everyone, I'm back with another sunrise image and for this photo I want to restore a lot of detail from the darker areas while still having some details in the brightest areas of the photo and in general add a very very warm look to this with a very sharp foreground. So let's get started right away. As you can see I'm inside the camera raw editor that means I'm going to edit this shot in Adobe Photoshop. Let's first head to the optics tab and activate those two settings. Next I'm going back to the basic tab and I'm also changing the profile to Adobe Standard. This will already help to bring back some detail from the darker areas. As this is a sunrise image I want this to be rather warm and I can already make use of the white balance by setting it to shade which will warm up everything quite a bit. I want to fix the darkness by just pushing the exposure a little bit. Of course now we are starting to lose some details in the sky since this is a very bright area but that's not a problem, let's just bring down the highlights. Now looking at the histogram you can see there is some overexposure going on and that's mainly in this area. In this case I don't think that's a problem. Actually I think it looks quite nice here, so I'm not really worrying about the overexposure here. But let's further work on the darkest parts. I want to increase the shadows. And I also want to bring up the blacks. This looks already much better, but there is some contrast missing. So let's just introduce some contrast. We can further boost this by increasing the clarity, which will also help get some more detail in this image. And for some extra sharpness, let's increase the texture. And finally, I want to have a nicely saturated image, so I'm also increasing the vibrance. Alright, that's it for the base adjustments. Now let's fix a few things using local adjustments. Most of the times I will start with the gradiated filters and you can see I have applied three of those. Uh, let's start with the top one first and I'm going to use the two top ones just to make the sky a little darker. So let's bring down the exposure. Also with this gradiated filter since this only affects the sky I can also bring down the texture and thus make the sky look a little softer. And let's head to the next gradiated filter. Again, it's just for the sky, so let's bring down the exposure some more. Then I want to make the clouds look a little more interesting. Let's increase the contrast. And let's bring down the clarity. And also let's bring down the texture again. We could adjust the temperature in here a little bit and give the sky some more blue color tones by dropping the temperature. And I think that looks way more interesting. All right, now let's work on the foreground. Here I want to have a lot of detail in those cracks. And of course I'm simply adding a lot of clarity here since that works really really good. Also, I can make this area a little sharper by simply increasing the texture. Then I think I want to add some exposure. And let's bring up the contrast. And the whites. That looks really good. Only thing I think is a little off is the color tone. Let's simply drop the temperature, which should fix the problem here. The sun isn't actually hitting the foreground, which means it needs to be a lot colder. Alright, that looks awesome. Now that's it for the gradiated filters. I do have two radio filters left. Let's start with the upper one, which I want to use to add some glow in here. Therefore I'm simply pushing up the blacks. And I'm using negative dehaze to add a stronger glow effect. Also, I could increase the whites a bit. And as I said earlier, I really don't care for overexposure in there. 
I actually think it does look better in some cases like it is with this photo. But that's it for the glow effect. So let's work on the last radial filter right here. In this area I want to further boost the contrast. I also want to bring up the highlights and again add some texture and some clarity. Alright, nice, that's it for the local adjustments. Then let's do the color grading and I'm starting in the curves tab. To be more precise, I'm just using the red channel right here. By bringing this point further to the left, I can add some nice warm color tones to the highlights. As you can see, this will just help with those warm sunrise colors. But that's it for the curve. I am not touching the color mixer since I think all those colors look pretty nice. Instead, I'm going to do the split toning. And for the highlights, to further boost the sunrise colors, I am simply applying a warm color tone here. I always use those sliders to do some finer adjustments. Let's really push the saturation here. All right, that looks really awesome. Then for the shadows, I want to apply a cold color tone. Maybe somewhere in this range. But here I want to bring down the saturation. I think that's a rather good balance here. Now let's also sharpen the image. And then finish it in Photoshop. First off, there are a few sensor spots, so let's duplicate that image just in case I mess something up and I have a backup right there. Then I'm using the spot healing brush, zoom in a little bit and just get rid of those dots. And while we edit, I can also remove some other objects here, just to make this image a little clearer. Okay, much, much better. Then I'm merging those two layers real quick by selecting them and hitting Ctrl E. Now let's add some more glow to this area in the sky. Therefore, I'm simply adding a new layer and switch the blending mode of this layer to hard light. Then I'm picking up the brush by pressing B and with the brush selected, I'm holding down the Alt key and click in this area to just pick up this exact color tone. Now let's change the brush opacity so this glow effect isn't too strong. And then just carefully paint in some more glow here. Okay, that looks much better to me. Then there's actually not much left to do. First off, I want to merge those two layers again. And then I want to check the Nick Collection for some final effects. So let's go to Filter, Nick Collection, ColorFX Pro 4. And the first thing I want to apply is the Tonal Contrast Filter. Let's first reset those settings since they are way too heavy. And for this image, I want to specifically target the midtones and increase them slightly, which should give me some more nice detail in this shot. And I mainly want to apply this on the foreground. That means I can add a control point here, just over the foreground. And let's turn up the midtones a little more. I think that looks nice, just like this. Then let's see, maybe I want to add another filter. Brilliant Swarm filter could look pretty interesting here. I could add a little more warmth here. So let's apply it like this. All right, and at this point I want to stop the editing since I'm really, really satisfied with this image. I hope this was interesting and helpful. If you have questions left, feel free to ask in the comments and thank you very much for watching this video.